we, we're not competitively racing, you know, we just make some good noises, yeah. put on a good show, and um, just have some good fun. My name's Simon Fitzner and uh, yeah, I'm the driver of the uh, Mercedes-Benz sports sedan. The history of the car is uh, it was built in 1979 by Peter Fowler. Uh, Peter initially built the car and his, he was trying to get a lot of local support to build the car um, from the Shepparton area. Yeah. And uh, so that was his plan for that. But his uh, initial plan was to build it, use it in the Australian sports sedan championship and for John Bow to drive. Uh, John drove it, I believe, for one year, maybe two. Then uh, he had other commitments to, to go on and do other things. And then uh, Brad Jones got in and he had a, drive, uh, had a drive of it for a while. I think they sort of run short on funds to run the car and then they sort of, I think, retired it. And then uh, Brian Thompson came along and, you know, he, I think he brought the car at that stage, maybe 83, 4. And, um, yeah, he campaigned the car for a while then. The car ran a few different engines in its first... Uh, when it first ran, it ran the Fowler Thompson uh, V8 Chev engine, which was a overhead cam four valve cylinder head that they developed. So they ran that for a while. Then after that, they went to a 4.2 litre D-stroked Chev engine and ran two turbochargers, which, yeah, sort of, you know, made, you know, I think they were saying it's 1,100 horsepower on the dyno, and then uh, I think about 850 in, uh, in race trim. But that, um, uh, it was a bit hard keeping the gearbox up to the poor, uh, to the engine. So yeah, so uh, they sort of soon worked out that that might not be the go. Yeah. But yeah, they used the car. Uh, so th they campaigned this car as well as uh, Bob Jane's Monza at that time, and used this car to win the '85 championship at the last round at Surface Paradise. So um, really cool car. You know, I brought it some time ago, and um, uh, yeah, I've just always been a, a, a fond advocate for you know old sports and airs. I sort of grew up around them when I was younger. My dad was always involved in them. He, he built a numerous amount of sports sedans, so it was good to, um, yeah, it was sort of just good to get the old cars out, and it gave the old cars somewhere to go and do. I think the good thing with sports sedans is they were all different. There was, there was never one car the same. Um, and everyone had their own ideas on how to do it, but um, yeah, this one's sort of a, you know, it's a space frame monocoque style arrangement in the, in the main tub. Um, so yeah, you know, we need to pour a seat, otherwise you're sitting on bare aluminium. Um, but it's good, you know, it gives you the opportunity to get the perfect seat. Uh, whereas, you know, a lot of cars, you know, you brought a seat, you mounted it, um, which is what sort of most of them were. So there wasn't a lot that were actually made with that uh, poured in seat arrangement. But yeah, so the car currently runs a, a six litre Chev engine, mechanical Lucas fuel injection. It's, uh, you know, it's a pretty healthy engine, sort of you know, nearly on 700 horsepower. Runs a, F, a LG 600 five speed transaxle in the rear. Uh, Harrop brakes, like the old school Harrop brakes front and rear. And obviously the full space frame vehicle with a mid mounted engine. Uh, so yeah, look, I brought the car back from New Zealand oh, six years ago, I think it was. And um, yeah, just sort of just keep you know keep it up to speed and just keep tidying it up a little bit and getting back to what it originally was back in the day. You know, still a few you little few little jobs we want to keep, try and do to it, but um, yeah, we're just you know I'm just sort of lucky to to uh, to bring it to events like this and you know it's really enthused a lot of other people to you know to bring these old cool cars out. Sort of, I probably wasn't really pursuing the car, it just sort of came available while I was rebuilding a couple of other cars and uh, you know I, I sort of probably tried to get someone else to buy it and um, yeah you know he, he wasn't having much luck trying to sell it at the time and um, you know we, we sort of got chatting and sort of came to a, a deal and did an agreement on it and um, yeah I thought oh, just, wow okay I've got myself a Mercedes. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I just, you know, for me, I'm a bit of an advocate for the old historic sports lands and I just thought it really 
you know, I thought it was a pretty pivotal car for our Australian yeah. motorsport history, so it really n needed to be back here. Yeah. And um, yeah, so you know, we brought it back and gave it a quick once over and had a look and checked things over and yeah, just started uh, campaigning the car. And like I said, uh, since then we've just been um, just keeping on top of it and little maintenance jobs and uh, a few little changes to get it back to what it really was back in the uh, in the early 80s. There's a bit of framework in the front of the car that I want to replace. That's you know just. You know, it's just been used over the years and had a few bingles and just some repairs that are probably not the way I'd like them. So, you know, we'll we'll fix up some framework and uh, just, you know, give it, a, give it a birthday. We've given it a good birthday in the back of the car. Yeah, we sort of re fully rebuilt the transaxle, uh, fully rebuilt all the rear suspension, the rear framework had to all be changed to put the proper wing back in it. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just sort of continue that through the car. Um, and just sort of, you know, I just want it to be at a stage where it's a good, strong, reliable car that you just jump in and go without, you know, without having too much to do. We're not hardcore competitively racing, so we're not, you know, we're not banging panels and, uh, you know, trying to wear engines and transmissions out and things like that. So, yeah, just have some fun. It's just great to see the old cars back on track and give them somewhere to run. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to actually go out on the track and, you know, and have a skid around and, you know, when you look up on the, you know, up on the mound, you know, you sort of go, well, I think we've got the biggest crowd watching, watching us, you know, so um, uh, that's cool. You know, I, I grew up with them when I was, you know, geez, seven, eight, nine. So, you know, for me, it's going back to being a kid again and, and just enjoying it back the way it was. So we, we're not competitively racing, you know, we just uh, make some good noises, yeah. put on a good show and um, just have some good fun. We, we try predominantly to choose four events a year. Uh, you know, we, we travel sort of as a, a circus or as a group. Um, so, you know, we've got Malala starts us off most years. Uh, our next event will be up in Queensland. So I'll take the Mercedes up to Queensland. Uh, that should be a good event. Um, Kerry McMahon's gonna take the um, Graham Wincup Monza up there, as well as um, it looks like we've got Tony Edmondson's our fetter going up to Queensland as well. So yeah, it, sh it should be a really cool weekend. Um, so yeah, so we've got Malala, uh, Queensland at Morgan Park. Then I think it's only about four or five weeks after that, we go down to the Winton Festival of Speed, which is always a great weekend. And uh, we finish the end of the year at Sydney Motorsport Park, I think in early December or late November.
was that? A massive thanks to Simon for sharing his Mercedes with us. Also, we've got to say thanks to all of our premium subscribers who allowed this content to be generated. We really appreciate all your effort. If you'd like to join us on this journey, hit the link below. There's more information down there about Blendline TV Premium. Uh, also, a massive thanks to My105. If you want to buy yourself a race car, get across to my105.com.au. They've got heaps of cars there for you. That's all we've got for this video. We hope you'll enjoy the next one. Click it here.